fabulous. Greetings plant people and welcome back to my jungle. So I have a lot of alocasia in my collection and I found a lot of people struggle with the care. I was one of them at one point and I've had a lot of experience with trial and error with these plants because they can be a bit dramatic. So I thought I'd share my tips to maybe help you out if you're struggling. There's no shame in struggling with plants. Some of them have very specific needs. So I found with alocasia, soil type is very important and usually when you get them from a garden centre where they don't specialise in alocasia or like aroids in general the soil is too spongy and not chunky enough so you want lots of perlite orchid bark all that goodness this one is my dragon scale alocasia and when i got it its soil was horrendous so i brought it home i let it acclimate and pre-warning if you bring it home and some of the leaves drop, that's normal. They're a bit stroppy when they're moved around. So just chop off the, the gross leaves and let it bounce back. And then once you've let it relax a little bit, repot it into much better soil and it will grow back. So you really want a nice chunky mix because they can be a little bit prone to overwatering or sunlight. I found that everyone tells you they like a nice medium, but I think they like more medium to indirect kind of like in between it really depends on the plant though which i know is probably not what you want to hear so i found with the darker foliage ones they need less light but the ones with the more green or even lighter green yellowy ones silvery ones maybe even they love indirect i probably wouldn't give them direct because they can get a bit sunburned but the ones with the thicker leaves can be a bit more durable with the sunlight like this one is very thick and textured and this one's very thin papery and metallic i would start with a medium to bright and then have a little see how they get on because you can always just adjust the lighting get some more grow lights watering also very important i found they like to be watered probably once a week or so don't let them dry out because when they spring out a new leaf you'll get some wonky goodness it doesn't really affect the plant if it has a wonky leaf, but it's not really the, the desired effect that we want, is it? This one is especially very drought. Not proof, the other word. Doesn't like to be dry. <laughs> and as you can see, wonky leaf. But I've got some new leaves coming through, so there's hope. Don't worry if you have a wonky leaf. It happens every so often. People usually say that you need filtered water or rainwater. I mean, you can, it'll help. But I just use normal tap water because I don't have time to filter all that water because I've got to, I've got too many plants at this point, too many. So rainwater, filtered water is better, but you don't need to. Fertilizer. I was told at the beginning of when I was getting allocation that they're very sensitive to fertilizer and it can burn the leaves. Well, that turned out to be a big fat lie because <laughs> I found that they love 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 fertilizer they guzzle it up it takes a lot of energy for these guys to put out a new leaf because it's one leaf per stem so they will often kill off a leaf and you'll get a new bigger one and if you fertilize them i'd say maybe like every other every other water i usually do you will get much bigger foliage which is what happened to this one so the previous leaf it gave me was this one which i was very happy with but then look at this one look at all those ripples it's like it's been at the gym don't be alarmed if one of the leaves starts to go yellow and gross and you can either leave it or chop it off and then you will get some new new growth coming out because this one did just drop a leaf and i chopped it off because it was ugly so semi-hydro is either it's basically when you don't use soil so you can either use tiny little rocks or you can use leca moss perlite all of them mixed together however you fancy so in this one i've got leca moss and perlite and oh look at that so i found that black velvet is one of the trickier ones from my experience this is my third time lucky so, <laughs> so i propagated its corms before it melted away and then i put it straight into all of that substrate and look at that it's absolutely loving its life just ignore this stem i accidentally dropped it and broke off a beautiful leaf but i don't want to talk about it yeah i've been experimenting with semi-hydro with my small ones i also have a baby fry deck that i got 
already in semi-hydro and it seems to be so much better because you can keep an eye on the water level if you keep it in a clear pot and I don't know they just seem to love it. I do want to experiment with a bigger one but I'm a little bit scared. My last point is that alocasia can be prone to spider mites and it's an absolute nightmare sometimes especially when you have quite a few so my tip for you is get yourself a really good bug spray. I've tried other natural methods like neem oil and other stinky liquids. I found if you just get yourself a really good bug spray, it helps. Just make sure you get some ventilation going on. Also, if you've got smaller ones or even bigger ones, um, sometimes I just chuck them all in the shower and really give them a good rinse. So that can prevent any potential pests already there or secret ones that are lurking behind the leaves. Spider mite damage looks, right, can we focus? Looks a bit like that. It looks almost like sandy at the top. Luckily, I got rid of it on this one because I dipped, Oh out of focus. Um, I dipped it in soapy water and kept an eye on it <laughs> then gave it a good spray. Just keep an eye, look out for little little webs and tiny little tiny little beetles. I haven't had any thrips on them so maybe thrips aren't a fan so that's always a plus. So yes let me know what your tips are when it comes to alocasia because I'm probably missing some. Hopefully all your alocasia are doing fabulous and we've all got to learn. Share your tips down below so we can help one another. I will see you in the next video and I hope you have a lovely day, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. See you later!